Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, Jen and Amy here, and today we're looking at a really fun modification for the roll-up. Now, I have heard some people say that this is harder for them uh, than the regular roll-up, but for most people, this would definitely be a little bit of a helping hand for the roll-up. So we're using a regular sized magic circle, and Amy has her left leg and foot anchored onto the floor. Her right leg's gonna go up to the ceiling. She's gonna place the ball of her foot in the magic circle, and both hands are gonna hold onto that opposite side handle. Now, I, for detail, I want her to really notice that she has um, a really good purchase from the first ball of her foot to the fifth ball of her foot, especially that fifth ball of the foot. Um, in this exercise, the lateral line of the leg is really important, and if we lose that, we're going to lose a really important connection line through this lateral leg. So she'll take a deep inhale, anchoring that opposite leg and foot, and then on her exhale, she's peeling the spine up like a sticker. Keep thinking about bringing the pinky toe side of your foot back to that outside of the knee, and she's going up and over a beach ball. She can bend her elbows here, keep the tension on the magic circle, really creating that crescent moon position of her spine. And then from here, from her pelvis, she'll start to lead the spine back down towards the floor. Good, the leg will come up and then anchoring the heel down, getting the lumbar spine down before the bra line bra line, upper back, and head. Good, and of course, a lot of, Amy doesn't need it, but a lot of clients will need some kind of head support, upper back support behind them. Let's watch that one more time. So she has the opposition here. She's keeping first to fifth ray, um, really focusing on bringing that pinky toe back towards her outer knee. And then on the exhale, moving up through her center line. She's peeling up equally on those speed bump muscles of her spine, opening through her collarbone. She's reaching her head foot forward as much as she's reaching her belly, ribs, spine, back and up. And then from here, keeping this opposition, keeping the grounding, she's gonna bring her pelvis sacrum underneath her, feeling a little bit of length in the collarbone even as she curls down. And she's thinking one disc at a time, opening into the floor, good, and drawing that leg deeper and deeper down. Another little detail that you have to watch here, which Amy was doing a really good job on, so I didn't need to cue her, but most people, with this stretch, this extreme stretch of the back line, the top leg hip is gonna to wanna to hike towards the armpit. So you're gonna to have to cue them to keep length in that magic circle side of their body and to keep allowing that side sitting bone to shine towards the opposite inner thigh. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.